Hey boys and girls, this is my review of Payback, the new WWE pay-per-view emanating from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey DMV wrestling group peeps out there, shout out to everybody in the group. This is going to be my review. So the first match we had was Sheamus versus Ziggler. Decent match to start off the show. Nice energy. Combat the combatants put everything in it. And at the end, Sheamus wins. And Dolph is busted open pretty bad from a headbutt that he put on Sheamus. And it basically was the end of the match with the bro kick to end it. So pretty good, decent match. We had a two out of three falls. Um, tag team match with the New Day versus Kid and Cesaro. To me, that was the best match of the night. And the New Day went, went again by cheating with Xavier Woods. Switching in, because Kofi Kingston was the legal man in the ring, but the referee didn't know what was going on because of the way that Xavier Woods rolled himself up, so the referee was thinking that was Kofi. So that was pretty good way to end the match. Keep the heat on the heels. Most of their wins are, are been cheating, so glad about that. So we still got the New Day as the tag team champions, and that's doing pretty good with them. And hmm, let us see what else happened tonight. We had the Bella Twins versus Naomi and Tamina. Uh, that was like the pee break match near the end of the show. We had Barrett Neville. That was a pretty good match, surprising enough. But nothing really resolved because Barrett took the cheap way out and took the count out. So, to keep him from looking like a, a strong heel and the mate Neville looks strong at the end because he is acting as revenge at the end of, of the match so that was pretty cool I'm not doing these in our order so we had Rusev versus Cena in the I Quit match that match was pretty good my only problem about the match is it was a little bit too long in the teeth they could have cut five minutes from the match and because this was like the third time we see them wrestle against each other in a row. So they say this is the final. Hopefully it is the final. And Lana throws in the towel for Rusev. When Rusev was trying to hit John Cena with the turnbuckle that he tore off of the ring, ring post. Well he didn't tore it off. It took him forever to unscrew it. But oh well. But still Cena... Retains as U.S. champ. We're going to see what they're going to do with Lana and Rusev later on. And, hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. What else happened? Oh, yeah. Wade Barrett and Ryback. That was a pretty good match. Kind of slow at points. Of course. I'm glad that they made um, Bray Wyatt win that joint. That was a smart thing to do. Because they need to make him look strong after losing against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And Undertaker ain't been back since, so they need to keep on pushing with Bray Wyatt and keep on letting him win his matches. So, And we had the main event, which was a fatal four-way match for the title. It was more than four people in this match. What do you think about it? For real, you had J&J Security and Kane. So, that made it a lot of bells and whistles. At point, too much bells and whistles. Actually, with this match, you can watch the last seven to eight minutes of this match. The first 15 minutes of the match was bland. And even the crowd wasn't getting into it. It didn't really erupt until it seemed like the shield was getting back together. But that didn't last too long once they accomplished what they needed to do. And shocking enough, Seth Rollins wins with the pedigree 
of all things on Randy Orton. So, they didn't want to put the belt on Roman yet, so that's a blessing for me. All in all, this was a halfway decent pre-review. I thought last month's pay-per-view was better. But they had an elimination chamber in two weeks, which is kind of really quick. Really, really quick. But since it's on the network, and you're already paying $9 for it, that's the steal. So you can see two pay-per-views in one month for $9.99. And for those who are in it dismay, for the first time, you're getting a whole set for free. So that's basically my review of Payback this year. And it was an okay pay review. Nothing to write on home to mom about, but it is what it is. So, this is Wild Man Willis signing off. See you next time.